Jonathan and today I'm going to be playing Rakdos Aristocrats. So the point of the deck is to play creatures such as Resumbling Skeleton, Rekindling Phoenix, there's a lot of Re in this deck, and Gutter Bones. And then, I, once I play those creatures, I will then sacrifice them to effects such as Heartfire, dealing damage to the many Planeswalkers that are out there makeshift munitions, which is just great because I can use it over and over again. And then Priest of the Forgotten Gods. This one gives me so much value, giving me cards, give, dealing damage to my opponents, and giving me mana. That is just absurd. As you saw earlier, most of my creatures come back from my graveyard to the battlefield, or at the very least to my hand. This is important because I'm running four copies of Desecrated Tomb. This means that whenever I reanimate one of my creatures, I get it back. This just gives me an absurd amount of card advantage, as just doing what my deck likes to do also gives me a 1-1 flyer. I'm also running four copies of Act of Treason. This is just good because there's so many big, powerful creatures in Standard that even if I steal them for just one turn, one hit with them will put my opponent so far behind it's hard for them to keep up, especially if I can sacrifice it before I have to give it back to them. This is a value engine deck, so I need to find my value pieces as fast as I can. To do that, I have Tormenting Voice. This also does, has a bonus effect of putting my creatures into my graveyard, so I can bring them right back out from there. I'm also running a copy of Liliana, Dreadhorde Champion. This is just an all-around powerful card. It draws me lots of cards, makes me creatures, and makes my opponent sacrifice them. As you might have noticed, my creatures are dying quite a lot. Cards like Judith the Scourge Diva and Mayhem Devil take advantage of this by just giving me one extra damage that I can just point and poke people with. And ultimately, that's what this deck comes down to. It, I just poke people again and again and again until they die. And while bringing up a wall of bats and small creatures, that I don't care what happens to them. They just keep me alive until my opponents are, well, poked to death. I've been told Ben's playing dinosaurs today. His deck is just a punch people in the face. It has no finesse at all, no skill required, just play big creatures and attack with them. This, this is my baby. I built her from the ground up. I never bought a single card. I either traded for them or I opened them in a pack. This deck is a little bit complicated, but if you play with it just a few times, you see you can do so much at the same time. Just by killing your creatures once or twice, you get so much value out of it, and they don't even have to stay dead. That is why Raptos Aristocrats is going to win later. Hi, I'm Ben, and I'm playing John Dinosaurs today, and I'm going to be playing against Jonathan. And with the new course at 20, the John Dinos well, Dinosaurs in general got a huge boost, and two of those cards that really um, boosted them into a tier 1 deck would be... Um, Rotting Regisaur, and Marauding Raptor. And that being that Rotting Regisaur can come out on turn 3 as a 7-6, which is huge, and Mar Marauding Raptor gets buffed by it when it comes out, and it will be a 4-3 when it hits a dinosaur, because it deals 2 damage to a dinosaur when it enters battlefield while it deals 2 damage to any creature that you um, cast. Well, that's why it's nice to play big dinosaurs because then Marauding Raptor doesn't kill it, but it also makes your big dinosaurs cheaper. One of the other cards that's really good with Marauding Raptor is Ripjaw Raptor. When it enters the battlefield, it gets dealt 2 damage by Marauding Raptor, and then you can draw a card off of that, which is really cool. And then if you have 2 Marauding Raptors, you can draw 2 cards, which is and then it has 5 toughness so it doesn't die to that. Rotting Regisaur struggles against smaller creatures because it doesn't have Trample. So running a card like Collision Colossus and giving it plus 4, plus 2 in Trample the next turn when you attack with it helps you hit really hard and, and standard right now the metagame has a lot of control and then a lot of decks that want the game to go long and you can just end the game really fast, so it's a pretty good game against Esper. 
as you can just uh, run them over before they get their teferis in a good board state. And then since you're running big creatures, you can run the likes of Galta and you can play it on turn four with Marauding Raptor and Rip Drop Raptor out. And then you also get to play Commune with Dinosaurs because it helps you search for a land if you need a land. And it also helps you look for a dinosaur if you need more power to be able to be put on the battlefield. And then what's epic, Huntsman, also does a similar thing where it makes your dinosaurs cost one less. And then all, you can tap it and then give your dinosaurs haste. So that's really nice. And then Registor Alpha gives your dinosaurs haste. I don't know, it's just a nice card because it enters the battlefield and creates a 3-3, so it's 5 mana for 7 power, which is pretty awesome. And then when you already have one on the battlefield, it gains haste and you know, can end a game right away. And then I've thrown in a Domri, Anarchar Bolas, because it gives my dinosaurs more power and also gives mana ram, and um, also gives removal. And then going into the removal, I have Domri's Ambush, which is able to remove a creature without my creature taking damage, and also I can hit a Planeswalker with it. And it puts a plus one, plus one counter on my creature, it makes it bigger. And then also Savage Stomp also puts a plus one, plus one counter on, and then it has one of my dinosaurs. So it's really nice with Rift Jaw Raptor, because I can put a counter on it, then have it fight a creature, and then I get to draw a card. And then I have a Shifting Ceratops in the deck, which won't be too effective in the game today, because he's playing Rakdos, so, but it's really good against blue because it has pearl blue and it just wrecks blue and you can give it reach so against mono blue it really shuts it down because you can block their tempest gems. And that is the deck and I'm looking to just run over him before he can get his sacrifice outlets going and before he can sacrifice my creatures. Alright, today we have a very special standard matchup for you. We have Jonathan on your left here with his reanimator deck, and we have Ben on our right with his dinosaur deck. Who's going first? Uh, we probably should roll for that. Mm -hmm. I roll a little roll. Um, let's go odds and evens. Uh, okay, I um, will take odds. Okay. Mm. Not. Let's, re let's reroll that one. Oh, picky, picky. Same thing. I'll go first. Okay. All right. Good luck. Good luck. Do, 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 do. Well, this, this game will be fun if nothing else. Mm -hmm. I will try it. Okay. You ready? I believe. Uh, I'll keep. All right. I will start by playing a mountain. Okay. And then pass. Right. Draw. Um, you're not gonna play anything, right? You're, you're, you're just not playing magic. Mm, no, I am. I'm gonna play an overground tomb tapped. And we have a pass track. All right, tap up keep drawing. Not quite the card I needed. I will play another mountain. And I'll pass. Okay. Beware my mountains. Another overgrown tomb. Tapped. And Man, a lot of people are not taking care of their tombs. We will you cast gotta make sure that they don't get overgrown. Communicate with dinosaurs. Top five. So that's what it's called, communicate with dinosaurs. I like that. I like that. Commune with dinosaurs. No, I like communicate with dinosaurs <laughs> better. Yep. Although, I guess it doesn't make sense. Hey, I talked to you. Come, come join me. Whereas if you commune, it's like, hey, I understand you. Come join me. Best turn. All right. Untap, upkeep, draw. My deck is determined not to give me any black, so I will play yet another mountain. Hmm. And I will then pass. Okay. Untap, draw. We will play a Blood Crypt tapped. Okay. Pass. Well, it's not a mountain, but it could find me one. I will play <clears throat> a Tormenting Voice, discarding a Reassembling Skeleton, 
And I will draw two cards. Okay. I will then play a mountain for turn. Mm -hmm. And then play another tormenting voice. That I drew both this mountain and the tormenting voice off of my last one. <laughs> That's always lovely. Discarding another resumbling skeleton. Yeah. But you need a black to get those back. To draw two more. I will then pass. Okay. Okay. And then we'll cast a Marauding Raptor. Yeah. And then we'll pass turn. Card. I will untap, keep, draw. I did draw a swamp off of that second tormenting voice. So now I'm happy. I got, you got all the one money. black. <laughs> you got one black. Um, I will play a Priest of the Forgotten Gods. Okay. And that is all I can do. I'll pass the turn. Okay. We will draw for turn. We will pay... Green and a green. Colorless for a Ripjaw Raptor. Yep. Which, it takes two damage. Yes. So I draw a card. You know, I've been told drawing cards is a good thing in magic. And then I will play a land for turn. Not sure if I believe it. And we will cast Dari's Ambush. Okay. I mean, plus one plus encounter on Marauding Raptor. Yep. And then we'll have Marauding Raptor deal damage to Priest of Forgotten Gods. Yep. That's and then sad. since it dealt two damage to a dinosaur, it gets plus two plus oh. Yes. And I will attack for five. I have no block, so I will take five, drop into 15. Okay. You know, you just casually take out <laughs> one fourth of my life. Just one fourth. It is your turn. With a 2 3, by the way. It's two mana 2 3. <laughs> two mana Untap. 2 3. Draw. It's a lovely card there. It's, it's something. Definitely gave Dinos what it needed for standard, that's for yeah. sure. Um, what it was sorely needing. I will pay to play a Act of Treason. Mm -hmm. I will gain control of your Ripjaw Raptor. Okay. I will move to combat. Yep. And attack you with four. Okay. I'll take four. All right. Second main. I will play a Heartfire, sacrificing your Ripjaw Raptor to deal four to your Marauding Raptor. Okay. That's my turn. Um. You Rap. missed a trigger. I didn't dealing. I didn't take any damage. You dealt two damage to Ripjaw Raptor while you controlled it. With so what? You missed the draw with the Heartfire. No, I sacrificed oh, it dealing four. Okay. I, I sacrificed. It's a different one then. Yes. Let's see. Uh, what is that card? I actually don't know. They run it in the Feather deck. You deal two to one of your creatures oh, um, you control. Re 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 reckless Rage. Reckless That's reckless it. Rage yeah. There we go. I always get those two confused. No. Um, we will draw for turn. I like Heartfire better because it just straight up kills me. Well, okay. it straight up kills your creature. Yep. We will play a Blood Crypt. Tapped. And then we will pay five. Red and a green. And three colorless. For Regisaur Alpha. Um, and it comes in with a Dinosaur. Yep. 3-3 three, three, Trample. And we will attack for three. I once again have no block, so I take three, drop into twelve. And now it is your turn. I will untap, draw. I will pay two red and a black to play a mayhem double. Okay. And I'll use my remaining mana, play a makeshift munitions. Okay. That's my turn. That is your turn. 
this should be an interesting turn, I believe. Draw. Can't quite kill the Registrar Alpha. No. Play Woodland Cemetery for turn. So, we will pay a five. Why do all black cards have to Registrar Alpha? Ugh, I don't like that at all. Why are all black land cards about tombs or cemetery? Why can't so it we'll have be like a another just dinosaur? A so just this one has haste. Yes, it does. Haste. And then we have four, eight, plus six. That would be oh, I know what's coming. Twelve. So we'll pay two for a Galta. Twelve, twelve, which also enters with haste, and we will attack for twenty-four. Oddly enough, that doesn't kill me. You know, somehow I just magically <laughs> survive. <laughs> magically yeah. you survive? Yeah, you got it. <laughs> Game. Okay, all right. Um, uh, next round two. Game two. Do you want to play, be on the play or on the draw? Um, I will be on the play. Yeah. That was a nasty turn. Yeah, that I didn't like that. <laughs> I didn't like that at all. Yeah. Uh, Galta. Let's see what my sideboard has to say. I'm not sure if I can do anything against, you know, a 12-12 with haste. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not getting the black till turn 5 really, really yeah. hurt. Not having any mana creatures, that hurt me a lot, too. Well, oh, for me, I can only play Magic Fair by playing, <laughs> playing lands. Uh, well, when you're used to playing Unfair. Registrar Elf is so good. It's like 5 mana for 7 power. Yeah, that's crazy. Half of which is haste. I mean, I understand you can't have half a seven on a creature, but you get my you get my point. Yeah. Not quite half seven, but three, three with haste. Unless you play a second one, and then you have seven damage with haste. And then you'd have fourteen because both will have haste. Not on the same turn. Well, unless you have ten mana, then you can play both on the same turn. Yes. But if you're at if you're at that point, you're either dead or <laughs> already winning. Yeah. So you either attack and win, or don't attack because you need the creatures to block. Yeah. But still, that is a lot of board presence for it five is. mana. And giving Galt to haste is always fun. No, it's not. It's it's <laughs> really not fun. It's the best. All right. Good luck. Oh, let's pick up my entire deck. That seems like a good way to play magic. Mm -hmm. I'll try it. Um, I'll keep it. So. Alright, you ready? Ready. Play a swamp and pass. Grounds fast. Draw. I'll play a mountain. Mm -hmm. Playing to play Tormenting Voice, discarding Resembling Skeleton. And I will then draw two. That is my turn. Untap. Draw. Two for Opet Huntsman and Pastor. On tap, keep draw. I will play Swamp, then pay three to play Desecrated Tomb. That is my turn. Tap, draw. <laughs> I will play Unclaimed Territory. Naming cats, right? Naming dinosaurs. Oh man, didn't see that coming. I'll pay two for Rotting Registrar. Oh. Rotting Registrar. This seems familiar. Um, I'll tap and give this haste. Yes. And attack for seven. I cannot block, so I take seven and drop into 13. It is your turn. I will untap, keep draw. 
play Mountain Pay 2 to bring my resembling skeleton mm -hmm. back from the graveyard. Trigger a Desecrated Tomb, I get a bat. Mm -hmm. I will then pay a black, play Spark Harvest. You're going to sacrifice my resummoning skeleton to destroy your reg rotting Regisaur. Okay. That is my turn. Okay. Attack. I don't want to discard because rotting Regisaur is gone. See, I just did you a favor. You should thank me for destroying that creature. However, I will four um, for Regisaur Alpha. You get a 3-3 three, three dinosaur? Yep. 3-3 three, three dinosaur. Oh, how, pre how prepared you are. Um, I will tap this, giving this haste. Yes. And I'll attack for seven. I will block the Regisaur and take three there, dropping to ten. Did you get I will untap, keep draw. I'm gonna play a makeshift munitions and I will then pass. You have eight power and then that, because that's seven. No. Oh, yep. Okay. Each creature Dominic. gets plus one plus seven. Ugh. Yes. <laughs> and then we will just go ahead and plus Dominic anyways to five since you have... No, we will not. We will leave him at three. We will move to combat. Mm -hmm. And we'll attack for... That would be four... And then five, so that is nine, ten. Okay, I will reanimate my reassumption skeleton, getting the bat, and I'll block there. I take four, five, six. Oh, yeah. You take six? Yeah. Okay. And then drop to four. Mm -hmm. You'll go ahead and minus two and have go to fight. Yep. And then pass turn. Untap. Keep draw. Well, I'm dead next turn. But I can have fun. I'm gonna play Act of Treason. Mm -hmm. Gaining control of Regolta until I'm turn. Yep. Move to combat. I will attack you with your Regolta. Alright, I will take 12. All right. Second main, I will sacrifice your Galta mm -hmm. to deal one to Donna. Okay. He goes to your graveyard. And that is my turn. Also did me in. Couldn't quite block enough damage. Good games. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But I played it post combat. Didn't I? The golden? Oh. You played your golden before combat. Yeah. You could have killed me turn earlier. I was yeah. dead anyways. So That's true. I could have I mean, attacked with it. You were you're nice. Uh, let me hit yeah. you with your own Galta. Okay. I appreciate that. Hi, I'm Ben, and today I'm gonna to be playing Gen Dinosaurs. Um, dinosaurs in the past. We had a stop already. He just owns it. I'm playing Gen Dinosaurs today against Jonathan. And um, 
<laughs> <laughs> I tried not to say it! I tried so hard.